<clears throat> I feel like by the time Brandon gets here, I don't even know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him try on a corset. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got Whitney Stoniker here. Did I say your last yeah, name? Yeah, you right? did. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, Whitney, can you introduce yourself, please? Yes. I'm Whitney Stoniker. I am um, special assistant to the president and CEO of Western Reserve Historical Society. All right. And, but Whitney is also a historian in her own right. She's got a master's degree and all that good stuff. Um, and she has a little bit experience uh, in corset wearing. I do. Um, so I have uh, been involved with a uh, local historical society um, just in my spare time. And uh, last summer we decided it would be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. to uh, make our own uh, costumes for our Civil War event. Okay. Um, so not quite reenacting, you know, mm -hmm. we weren't, um, you know, acting as other people. It was right. just for the costume interpretation portion. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to go all out and thought it would be super fun if we had the um, historically accurate undergarments as well. Mm -hmm. So I ended up with a corset. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we're going to see that a little bit later. Um, but first I wanted to look at the real thing with you. Um, so this is an example that's from a little bit later of a time period, but has a similar shape to what you were wearing. This is from about 1883. Um, it was a wedding corset, so it's not your everyday corset necessarily. It's made of silk, which probably was a bit more blue once upon a time, um, lined with um, a more durable uh, textile. Uh, these are not the original laces, those are very delicate, they um, sort of get destroyed over time. What do, I mean, how do you feel wearing your corset when you dress up? Um, it, it's kind of odd. Um, so this is the first time I've worn a truly, you know, authentic um, corset. This was actually made um, to my measurements okay. and it was um, made to replicate the, the corsets of that era. You know, nothing, nothing fancy. I think it was... Um, a working corset or something okay. like that okay. um, and I didn't know what to expect I've always wanted to try one um, you know mm -hmm. I, I grew up watching like Gone with the Wind and the scene <laughs> where she's tying the corset and I was always yeah. like you know I wonder what that would be like and uh, it's odd um, <laughs> at first it was terribly uncomfortable I did get used to it okay um, what exactly was uncomfortable for you um, so it was really weird um, there was um, a lot happening <laughs> in this region uh -huh. that was just, it, things were in different places. It was okay. just that, that was weird. Uh -huh. um, so but your body was really it, reshaped? It was. It yeah. absolutely was. And uh, I mean, definitely, you know, the waist came in and I was mm -hmm. kind of like that. That, that looked pretty good. But uh, <laughs> then, you know, as, as it came back out, it felt like... I don't know, it just felt like the proportions were so weird. Like the waist went in so tiny and all of a sudden, like bam, there are the hips. Yeah, so um, yeah. it, it was odd so to wear. Experiencing the fashionable shape yes. of the mid to late 19th century. <laughs> yes. Which was, you know, maybe your waist was tiny, but maybe then you had um, a very womanly, sort of voluptuous figure down below. Yes. <laughs> um, interesting. Did you, you ever feel like you have a, like less room to breathe? Yeah, I felt like I had to as much as possible change kind of how I, I breathe um, you know it, instead of feeling like you're you know going in and out it felt more up and down okay. you know like it was yeah. compressed yeah and um, the thing that I really noticed was um, like in in the lower stomach area it felt like there was not a lot of room but it's interesting to, to consider when you're looking at a corset which is not something most people wear every day today. right yeah all right any final questions about our corsets? Um, Reactions? Uh, what would you want to know? Um, I would like to know, if, if we have this information, mm -hmm. um, what was the average waist size? Oh, the average waist like, size. It, say around this time mm -hmm. period. I mean, um, well, I can't tell you. Okay. <laughs> but um, I think that there was an ideal waist size in the low 20s or so. Okay. Um, the, we measured a waist that's in the exhibit, mm -hmm. and it was 26 inches, which um, is smaller than me, yeah. but not crazy tiny. I've had a dress in a previous exhibit that was 22 inches. Um, so, okay. But there were plenty of larger women. Right, right. Okay, so we have our next guest. 
Brandon Smith. Brandon is our layperson today, but he's a layperson with an interest in fashion. Mm -hmm. um, so Brandon and I have known each other for several years. I worked with him at the art museum mm -hmm. around the Oval from where we are here. And uh, yeah, I mean, fashion, well, as someone who, with an interest in fashion, what are your feelings about this corset that's 140 years old? It's what really, is your reaction? It's, it's like really, really dirty. dirty. Yeah. Okay. But I do like the colors of it. Mm -hmm. Like it's like um, kind of like an opalish color. Like it's like in between like blue, and then has like the teal on it. What mm. questions would you have for me about a corset like this? So like um, what were they used for? Mm. Um. Well, they were used to create the desirable shape that was in fashion at the time. So actually this is kind of nice because it's um, small and easy to show, but here you can see that the waist goes in and then mm -hmm. out again. Yeah. Um, how does it work? How does exactly. it work? Well, um, first you would fasten the front here and um, what I like is that in this corset, you can see how it's really worn down. Mm -hmm. So you, you can imagine that woman's you know, thumb fastening her um, hardware. So you do that, and so then you lace up from top and then bottom, and gosh, how does it work? I mean, there's also, there's boning inside these channels that functions to create that stiffer shape. Not every corset had the boning. Um, so you have different corsets. They made maternity corsets. There were corsets patented for nursing, um, uh, riding corsets for horseback riding. So there was a lot of variety within the corset family. So do you uh, know anybody that wears corset? No. No. But I might start. <laughs> <laughs> How about foundation garments? No, I don't think so no? either. What about in pop culture? Actually, what do you think I of the do corset? know someone who does wear a corset, but she does oh, it yeah? for like waist training. Okay. And so for those of us who don't know what waist training is, can you sum it up? It's like um, so there's like the ideal hourglass body, and mm -hmm. so with waist training, you like wear a really tight corset, okay. um, to basically kind of mold your body into that shape. But it takes like months. Okay, but you're kind of creating a semi-permanent new yeah. shape. Okay, a la Kim Kardashian. Um, that's who I think of when I think of mm -hmm. waist training. Um, so, have you ever worn a corset? No. no. <laughs> okay. Would you like to? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm going to be the new reincarnation of Mariah Carey. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like... Were you like reaching like maximum like um, velocity on a roller coaster or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm breathing like up and down. Like she said, I don't know. I wouldn't really call it breathing. <laughs> <laughs> It definitely did change the shape. Like, I can even see it from the side here. Am I like invisible? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I feel like. I'm really like envious of this waist you have going on right now. It's really cool. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> it is really, I wouldn't say impossible to slouch, but it is not comfortable. Like, if you. It, it doesn't work very well. I don't well. feel like I have to find a way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you just be like sitting in class. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. I feel like I'm saying that now, but like after an hour of this, it'd probably be like done. <laughs> Can you like sleep in these? Probably not, maybe. I don't know. I don't think most women did. I wouldn't. Yeah. You probably could. <laughs> Do you want to wear the corset? I'm good, thanks. Oh, like, don't you so, whether you've worn a corset, or you wouldn't touch one with a 10-foot pole. I hope you enjoyed our video today, and uh, you can come check out some of the corsets that you saw in the Chisholm Halley costume wing in our new exhibit, and uh, join us next time as we explore Clevelanders and their French fashions.